Yo, what is up guys, Romez here, back with another video. Now the last Microsoft Office 2016 video that I did for the Mac, you guys killed it, you guys loved it, and so what happened was after a while the link was broken and so a lot of people kept on commenting that it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and so here's an updated version. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to the link that I provide you with in the description below. Once you have that link, go ahead and download the file. Once the file is done downloading, you want to go, to, go ahead and head to your downloads. You want to open up that folder, go to application, then you want to open up the Microsoft Office 2016 installer. Then it will bring you up to this uh, page right here, go ahead and click on continue, continue, agree, and then you want to click on customize, and then right here you can customize whichever Microsoft applications that you want to download. I want all of them, so I'm just gonna leave it like that and click on install. Then you want to go ahead and type in the password that you use to log into your Mac. Then it'll say preparing for installation. Now this will work for 2017 as well because this will allow you to update Microsoft Office as new updates start to come out. And so this is a really good way to get Microsoft Office for free better than the last video that I did. Alright, so once it's done installing, you just want to go ahead and click on close. And then you want to click on uh, then you want to click on keep. Once you have clicked on cle uh <laughs> once you have clicked on keep, you want to go ahead and open up serializer. And then you want to open up this package right here, click on continue, install, enter your password once again, enter just wait for this to get done now for this link I promise you guys this link will never get broken this link will just stay up forever you wanna click on keep again and then you can just X all this out and then you can go ahead and open up any Microsoft application that you want to open let's say I want to open up PowerPoint just go ahead and click on it get started then you want to click on skip sign in right here and you'll click on continue and then start using PowerPoint. And I'm showing you guys proof right here. I am not signed in at all. And I can also open up any of these templates. I can type in whatever I want, just type in random stuff. And I can also go to file, save. And then from here, I want to click on, on my Mac. And then I can save it to my desktop. And now I can reopen it as well. So I can just let me just exit this out and then I can reopen it. There you go, completely free. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and if this worked for you, make sure to smash that like button. This time let's aim for 500 likes. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because I'm trying to reach that 1,000 subscribers and that will be a big goal for me. That will be a big achievement. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave it down in the comment section below. And like I said, this does have auto update. So sometimes if there's like a new update and you open up any Microsoft application, an auto update screen will just pop up and it'll ask you if you want to update it for free. You don't have to sign in at all. You don't have to create an account. And that'll be it. Peace.